Well, this week's going to be one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. In all, 109 million Americans are headed somewhere for the holidays, but here's a big stat for you. 100 million of those travelers will do so by car, and this is all happening, of course, as you know, COVID cases holding strong in Michigan and across the country. Grant Herms along the border tonight where new requirements are going into place. Good evening, Grant. Good evening, Jason. Those requirements will take some extra planning if you plan to cross the border. Canada saying you need to get tested three days before your trip because they expect these lanes down here to be very busy by the end of this week. With thousands of Michiganders planning on traveling this week, there are fears they may be carrying more than their luggage. With Michigan's cases of the Delta variant still some of the highest in the country and the Omicron variant expected to be the dominant strain to start 2022, the state's Department of Health asking travelers to take extra precaution. I think it's just really important to take all of those mitigation steps that we know are effective uh, when we are gathering with our loved ones around this holiday season. And I think people have done that uh, beginning with Thanksgiving, and they continue to be thoughtful about that as we go into the Christmas holiday. For those traveling across the border to Canada, new testing requirements starting this Tuesday. Anyone traveling into the country must have a negative PCR test no longer than three days before their trip. The Canadian government also asking people to curb holiday travel plans, saying late last week, now is not the time to travel. But at Detroit's Metro Airport, travel was in high gear. Well, we're, we're fully vaccinated and boosted and we're very careful and always wearing masks and social distancing and um, we're going to hope for the best. It's just so important that everybody do what really is needed to help us get over this. Another holiday season with the worry of spreading more than holiday cheer. Let's go back over some of those details of those new testing requirements. Those tests have to be done within three days of your trip across the border. You have to use the Arrive Can app on your phone to log that test and your vaccination status. Now, there are also exemptions, including for kids five years old or younger. We'll have a link to those exemptions for the Canadian government on our website and click on Detroit.com. Jason? Yeah, Grant, what's the word on air travelers who are headed to Canada? So this, these testing requirements don't uh, apply to air travelers, although Canada does have a test on arrival policy that they expect to ramp up as we look toward the new year for those people traveling back and forth this holiday season. Yeah, back to well, you. Good stuff. All right. Grant, thanks.